Victoria. I'm the manager here at Merle Norman Cosmetics at Perrysburg, and I'm going to do her eyes. We like to use an eyeshadow primer, and what that's going to do is going to hold the makeup on to the eyes. So that way, no matter whether you're dancing or what you're doing, or that way if the mask kind of rubs, it's not going to take off her eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now because we're going to do a dramatic eye, I'm also going to use a little bit of the eyeshadow primer under the eye and that way it's going to keep her eyeliner on because we're going to be going a little heavier around there and probably extending the lash or the eyeshadow out cream eyeshadow. This has a little luminous to it and it's going to give a little bit of highlighting all over the whole eye. What's nice about this product is that you can build it so that it can get shinier and have a little more luminous. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And what I'm going to use is a little bit more of a padding motion. those two shades together. I'm going to use a synthetic brush. The next step of the process is we're going to add the drama to it. Um, I'm using a black eyeshadow and I will go ahead and use again a little bit softer brush to apply the darker eyeshadow and since we want a little bit of shimmer I'm going to once again mix it. I'm going to go ahead and apply that in the contour of the eye. So for the drama, we're going to go on the outside of the eye and then into the contour here. The trick with putting on a dramatic look is you need to do it in sections. Next thing we're going to do is apply our Wicked Mascara. Curling your eyelashes before you put your mascara on will help give you a better curl. The Wicked Mascara has a wide barrel and it's in extra black. When I do mascara, I start at the root, give it a little wiggle. and you want to build your mascara. Can you look at me? Yeah. With her mask, there's a little area in the front that we could add a little bit of bling with some rhinestones. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take it off with the tweezers and what I'm gonna do is apply a few of them in the front of the eye and just use the tweezers to press. So have a little fun with it. Play around with the, the different sizes. Oops, there goes one. So we are going to try a little fun ombre lip using the black and using a siren, which is a liquid lip color, lip stain. So we're going to need the black lip liner. We mixed a little bit of the red and the purple, and then the red will be in the center. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So you're going to start with the black on the outside. Let's 
see, you're going to start with your darkest and move in 